Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can do two Easter eggs at the same time. You can get a free Mega Gobble Gum and also get a plunger that you use as a melee weapon and then you can set it on fire. You need to build the basic bow, the Wrath of the Ancients, and then also the Ragnarok DG4. If you guys don't know how to do those, I will have both of those tutorials down in the description. Grab both of those and head up to the top floor of the bell tower and then use the bow and charge shot, so hold down your right trigger and use two arrows and shoot at this wall right here and it's gonna break open the back of this clock. When the usage meter is full on your Ragnarok, you can hit LB, RB at the same time, pull it out, hit left trigger and place those down behind that clock. Then come down to this control panel right here and hit X or square on it. It's gonna flip the switch and start that clock moving that's facing the courtyard. Initially, that clock will be stuck at 115 and you need to flip that switch and make it move to 935. It takes a couple of minutes for it to get all the way around to 935 and you need to flip that switch and stop it right on that time. If someone is in the game with you, they can help you watch the time and you can just stand at this switch and turn it off whenever it's time. If you're solo, then wait for the clock to get about 925, 930 and then just start flipping the switch on and off. Eventually it'll stop at 935, then you're going to hear these bells go off and then kind of like a motor shutting down and stopping. After you hear that, you'll know that you did it right. Now you need to go underground into the pyramid room and you'll have to open this door. This goes to the teleporter that takes you to the rocket test launch site. You wanna pick up this vase right here. This is what's gonna give you that free gobble gum later. Next, you wanna go back into the pyramid room and make sure that low gravity is turned on. You just go to the four blue panels around the pyramid and stand on top of them until a light illuminates and then it'll turn on. Once it's on, you wanna jump up and wall run and touch these four circular symbols right there. There's only four of them and just run all over those around the room. And if you do it correctly, then you will teleport back in time gonna be in this black and white room that is that teleporter room. Then go back to that same spot where you had picked up that potted plant, hold X or square, it'll put it back down. Come over to that desk, hold X or square, and you're gonna pick up a plunger. You don't have a lot of time before it teleports you back into the present time. It's gonna put you in the pyramid room. Then you can go back to that area where that potted plant was, hold X or square on it, and it's just gonna give you a free mega gobble gum. It seemed like anybody in the game could do this little Easter egg where they pick up the plant, go back in time, and put it down, but only one player could actually hold square or X on it and get the free gobble gum. I could be wrong about that, but that is what happened in our game. Whenever one person travels back in time and they pick up that plunger, it gives all the players in the game the plunger. Not everybody has to go back in time. To get the fire plunger, you need to be the one that kills the panzer. Just kill him, that's all you have to do. You don't have to go plunge his face or anything. And then you're gonna notice when you melee, the plunger's gonna come out and it's gonna have that like fire elemental effect. The fire element eventually does go away and it doesn't make it any stronger and this is only for the person that killed the panzer. These are all such new easter eggs and I'm not sure about like multiple people getting the free gobble gum. Let me know what you guys experience in the game and I'll definitely be checking comments. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.